Hey guys, so I'm sitting here doing laundry. How friggin' exciting is that? It's so friggin' awesome and exciting. Um, but I'm getting my shit together to go to VidCon. Woo, VidCon! So my room is a friggin' mess. I, like, I'm, uh, that's as fast as I'm gonna show it to you because I'm embarrassed. But um, yeah, I'm cleaning and getting ready to go and I had something on my mind because I saw people commenting in another video about relationships, about how nice guys finish last. And this is something that I hear all the time. And I get so irritated every time I hear it. Because it's a bunch of bullshit, and I'll tell you why. First of all, desperate guys finish last. Nice guys don't finish last. And by desperate, I mean, like, sometimes there's that guy that falls in love with you after, like, three weeks. I dated a guy like that. He fell in love with me, like, after three weeks, told me he loved me, freaked me out a little bit, told me how beautiful our babies would be and stuff. And, like, I was just, like, ugh, too much, too soon. And it came off as desperate because, I mean, three weeks? You can't know that kind of thing after three weeks. You just cannot. So I kind of wondered, like, what, are you just going to jump on the first opportunity that comes in front of you to be with someone? Are you that desperate for a relationship? Some guys are. You know, like, I, I want to feel like I'm with someone who has almost selected me, someone who's picky, someone who just doesn't date anyone. Um, you know, I know guys normally will sleep with whatever, but they normally won't date whatever. So that's kind of a different story there, but I don't know, I just felt like, you know, really not that special, and I was like, okay, this is too much, and it's creepy. So it was a bit desperate. So desperate guys finish last. Now as far as the nice guy thing, that's a load of bullshit because I have yet to find a guy who isn't kind of an asshole at some point or another. Now I know everyone has their flaws and no one's perfect, but I kind of question if the whole like nice guy thing out there actually exists like I think that might be a little bit of a myth there are guys who obviously are just like flat-out assholes and you know are abusive or you know just always very mean and you know I, I don't understand why anyone would date them but they're out there but to say that like there's the polar opposite to that out there this just perfect guy who never does anything wrong and he just can't figure out why no one will date him to me that just seems kind of like a load of shit uh, i don't think that there is like the perfect nice guy that's out there i think that the whole nice guy mentality is the guy who just you know does everything for the girl and then she won't have sex with him but you know maybe it's because she's not interested in dating him maybe she's not attracted to him you know there has to be that initial attraction there, and if you come off too desperate, it's never gonna happen. If you're not confident, it's never gonna happen. You know, if you don't have stuff in common, it's never gonna happen. Um, but I personally wanna date someone who's nice to me. I wanna date someone who's sweet to me, who does nice, cute little things, but I'm also very selective. And, you know, that's not something that I should be ashamed of. It's just, you know, I'm picky. I have a certain amount of things that I look for, especially since I've been in a ter terrible relationship before that failed. Like. I know what I'm looking for, and if you're not it, I don't care how nice you are, it's not going to work out. It has nothing to do with nice guys finishing last. Um, but if the chemistry is there, if I do like you, and you come off as desperate and tell me that you're in love with me and you're ready to have babies right now, it's going to freak me out and I'm going to be like, bye! But that's not a, that's not a nice guy issue, that's just like, um, you know, pretty much a guy who's just begging for a relationship and that's not appealing to anyone. Same thing for girls nice girls also don't finish last like i know so many girls and the more desperate they are for relationships the more unlikely they are to ever end up in one the girls who just you know they're like serial daters and they sleep with way too many guys you know not that that's a bad thing you can do whatever you want i'm not going to judge you but the thing is is they do it because they think that's going to get the guy to want to be with them and then they over text them they over call like they just overdo everything they call them all the time they text them all the time you know like if they don't write back right away they're like oh what if he doesn't like me and they freak out and it's like desperation doesn't look good on anyone so you have to be a little bit aloof you have to not care so much at first when you're dating someone i feel like and and then it will happen eventually on its own and if it doesn't then it doesn't but to say nice guys finish last i just i always get irritated at that because normally the guys that I hear saying that, I know from people who they've dated before and talked to their exes, they're not nice guys. They do a lot of shit. They, one of them I knew had been cheating on his ex-girlfriend and then he complained about how nice guys finish last. I mean, one guy, you know, never gave anything to his girlfriend 
for birthdays or for Valentine's Day or little stupid things like that that you know guys think are stupid but girls place a high amount of value on and you know, he's like nice guys finish last it's like no you were kind of an asshole so I don't know I just feel like too many people say that and it gets on my nerves I don't think that there is the ideal nice guy and I think guys who just fall all over girls are doing the same thing that girls do whenever they freak out over every single guy that likes them and they want to just text them all the time and call them all the time it's desperate it doesn't look good it has nothing to do with being nice it has everything to do with you know, self-confidence, self-worth, and what you're willing to <laughs> show as far as emotion goes too quick, too soon. It's never good for anyone. But anyways, let me know what you guys blah, think about this video in the comments section below. It's super late, so my brain is kind of like not totally functioning. Let's see what time it is. This is laundry, and it is, oh, great. Almost 2.30 in the morning, it's perfect. Jesus loves you, good night.